Looking up at the night sky is what motivates many astronomers, but for Dr. Wanda Diaz-Merced, listening to the night sky is what drew her to continue her astrophysical journey. This is the story of blind astronomer Dr. Wanda Diaz-Merced, who discovered new revelations about the sonification of data and pioneered a culture of accessibility in the scientific community. I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. When aspiring scientist Dr. Wanda Diaz-Merced lost her sense of sight, she created a new pathway to her dreams of studying astronomy through sonification, an auditory representation of numerical data using rhythm, pitch, volume, and other properties. Diaz Merced was born in a small town in Puerto Rico called Gurabo. She loved science at an early age and planned to become a doctor, a general practitioner. But in her path, she faced many obstacles. At birth, she was diagnosed with diabetes, which eventually caused her to develop diabetic retinopathy, a complication that damages the light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. This caused her vision to decline at a steady rate all through childhood and into her late teens and early 20s. But that didn't stop her. This is a theme you'll notice with her. She continued full speed ahead towards pursuing her goal of studying medicine. Eventually, she switched her studies to astronomy, but things were still extremely challenging. She struggled in class, she couldn't see the theorems and equations on the board or diagrams in books, and she started to fall behind. She didn't want to tell anyone, and she felt super isolated. In interviews, she even notes feeling pushed away from the field. Her luck started to change when an amateur astronomer classmate introduced her to Radio Joe, an ongoing NASA project that launched in 1999 that converts radio wave transmissions from Jupiter, the Sun, and other parts of the galaxy into sound waves. Radio waves are a really important tool for analyzing our universe, so much so that there's an entire field called radio astronomy, which can involve converting radio waves into images to study things we can't typically see with our eyes. Radio waves aren't something we can typically hear either. We usually need an aptly named radio to translate radio signals into the latest songs and sounds. Converting astronomical radio wave data into sound rather than just images is just another way to assess the information. Diaz Merced got heavily involved in the Radio Joe program, immersing herself by participating in teleconferences, listening to audible frequencies of a solar flare, and learning as much as she could about astronomy through radio waves. This cracked the world of science wide open for Diaz Merced, and she realized she could pursue her studies in a way that allowed her to keep up with her peers and even pave her own path. In 2005, she was selected for an internship position at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, where she learned to analyze traditionally non-audible data through sound. From there, she was assigned to Exonify, a sonification program transmitting data about astrophysical objects through audio of varying frequency and intensity. Through sonification, Diaz Merced found an important use of exercising multiple senses. She set out to prove that sound was not just another way to look at things, but a unique and valuable asset in the field. So what data can be transmitted as sound? Let's take gamma ray bursts, for example, one of the first pieces of data to which she applied the sonification technique. These cosmic bursts occur from the fusion of neutron stars, or giant star explosions. Each burst generates extremely high energy light that can be detected by sensors on satellites, like NASA's SWIFT and Fermi missions. Gamma ray bursts are the most powerful explosions in the known universe, making them the most energetic events ever measured by astronomers. A close second is dropping a dish in the sink late at night when everyone else is asleep. However, we can't see gamma ray bursts with our naked eye. Typically, energetic events like these are measured by light curve plots, which is a plot measuring the intensity of light over time. Diaz Merced realized that these plots were just one way to interpret this energy, because at its core, a plot is just a line based on a table of numbers. Like our own experience of reality, space is multidimensional and should be analyzed through all of our senses. By ascribing each telescopic data point a different sound varying in pitch and frequency, Wanda Diaz Merced was able to see these cosmic events in a brand new way. Instead of visualizing a pattern or data point that was out of range or abnormal, she could actually hear when something unique was happening in the pitch or pattern. 
Her close work with programming and space data analysis led her to pursue a doctorate from the University of Glasgow in computer science. Diaz Merced has since gone on to apply this method of analysis to studies of other astrophysical phenomena, like solar wind, coronal mass ejections, cosmic rays, and more. With this new perspective, certain data that was too subtle to notice on a simple plot became glaringly obvious when converted into sound. More recently, she helped develop a device called Light Sound, which transforms light data into audio and was widely used to allow those with visual impairments to experience the total solar eclipse in April of 2024. Dr. Wanda Diaz Merced is living proof that without inclusion, major discoveries are just left on the table. As she says, information access empowers us to flourish. It gives us equal opportunities to display our talents and choose what we want to do with our lives based on interest and not based on potential barriers. So thank you, Dr. Wanda Diaz Merced, for helping to bring science and the universe within earshot for everyone. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.